hi guys welcome back to another video on my channel well i know it's been a very long time since i've posted a video um yeah it's just been i don't know one of those months <laughs> weeks i don't know how long it's been it's been a while so one of those times um i have been suffering a little bit with my hands as well so i haven't been able to do as much as i would like but i um, doing a collaboration in this video with my amazing daughter you can find her at makeup by Els over on Instagram the link will be in the description box below please 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 go and check her out she's 16 and she's self-taught and she's freaking amazing um, her, um, she, we did a well she did a rainbow eye look and it completely inspired these nails and um, she wanted rainbow nails as well um because you know pride has just well pride month has just ended um but who says pride month has to just be a month who has says celebrating pride has to just be a month so yeah we are just extending it out even further because why the hell not so yeah i'm just going in and doing these rainbow nails but make sure you go and check out her look over on her channel as well uh not on her channel <laughs> she doesn't have a channel over on her instagram she does have a tiktok as well and i will post that in the description box so yeah make sure go and like follow and all of that jazz that you do on those ones um but yeah in this i am using wow bow powders and i'm just doing um vertical ombres um I can't remember the names i think they're just wow pink wow green wow blue um yeah i think it's their neons or their brights collection um so i'm just blending the colors together we worked out which how we wanted them to go so we've gone blue to green green to yellow and then i am just blending the colors together vertically vertical ombres are an absolute pain in the bum i find i find so much easier to do them the other way um but no we're doing them this way for there <laughs> fun um <laughs> so yeah basically i've just gone down the side of one nail the side of the nail with one of the colors and then i am just blending in the other one until i get a blend that i'm happy with i'm trying not to faff with it too much but as you can see i i do faff quite a bit some of the color colors are easier to blend like this green and the yellow they're quite easy to blend the blue and the green it was a bit of a faff um because the blue the blue actually isn't a wow bow color um for some reason i didn't order a wow bow blue when i did this order so i'm using my cjp neon blue i can't remember what that one's called either but i will leave all the the names in the description box below so yeah while i'm faffing with this i'll let you watch and i'll be back Okay, so I'm now going to go in and do the same thing again. I'm just spreading that yellow out, um, blending out the back of that bead as much as I can to keep it nice and flush to the nail. And by the way, I have gone in, obviously, as you can see, prepped all the nails, um, applied my tips, um, prepped, primed, dehydrated, applied my tips and applied a clear layer of a clear of acrylic as well um, before going in with my colour so yeah I've done my yellow I've blended that out at the back and now I'm going in with this orange um, which I'm pretty sure is wow orange um, yeah and I'm just going to blend them two together as best I can these ones again these two weren't that bad to blend the yellow and the green and the yellow and the orange just blended quite nicely I thought um the pink and the purple was it the pink and the purple i can't remember the pink and the purple i think were a bit of a faff and the green and the yellow but then that's just doing vertical ombres i just don't uh, i find them really difficult um yeah they're so much harder than the the normal standard ombre i think but yes so yeah i'm just going to build that blend up till i'm happy with it and then i'll move on to the next nail and this one again is going to be um the orange on one side and then blending in to a bright pink on the other side so doing the same thing just placing that bead down one side of the nail 
planning out the back of that bead with my brush to keep it nice and flush to the nail so we don't get no lumpy bumpy bits and so it makes it easier for me to blend my cover colour when I come in with that and then I will come in with my pink and do the same thing on the other side of the nail and then just blend these two colours together these again were really easy to blend because they're quite similar so yeah they just blended quite seamlessly oh so yeah i'll let you watch and i'll be back Okay, I'm now going to go in with my cover peach and this one is CJP's peach sorbet. I did use, my daughter's got the tiniest nails, honestly, they're so small. Um, I think all of her nails are like a 7 and an 8 and a 9, apart from the thumb, which I think is a 6. So she has really small nails. Um, but yeah, this one, I didn't drain the bead out. Um, and it just kind of ran a little bit but as you can see as long as you work quickly you can kind of rectify that and it's all good so yeah now I'm going in with my cover colour and I am just this did I say it was peach sorbet peach sorbet by CGP <laughs> and I am just going to drain my bead out a little bit place that with that join there between the natural nail and where the colour starts blend that out at the back and then blend it up and over the two colours I then go in with another bead at the cuticle I'll get my brush right behind that bead and into the cuticle area and then just blend it into the first bead I'm going to do that on all of the nails and yeah then I'll go in and cap
Okay, I'm now gonna go in um, and cap all of these nails in CJP's crystal glass. I have sped this up because obviously it's just capping and this video is quite a long one. Anyway, so I've sped it up so you don't have to see. I don't go all the way to the cuticle with this. Um, the Cover Peach is a core powder and I have built in my apex using the Cover Peach so I don't need to go all over it with the um, crystal glass and I don't need to make it any higher anyway because I'm it's just going to end up wasted product that I'll be filing off anyway so yeah just going to go in and basically cap all my blends and level them out make sure they're nice and even and yeah Okay, now they are all um, all capped. I'm going to go in with my um, glitter, 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 glitter belt metal file board and just file the sides in nice and straight. I'll then go in with um, the the metal file board was a hundred grit file, and now I'm going to go over the whole nail with my glitter bells 180 grit. Um, it's not a lot of filing to do really I just need to contour the nail so down one side around the cuticle and up the other side and then just a quick whip over the entire nail and yeah I'll do that on all 10 nails I don't think I show all 10 I think I only show a few but I will do that on all 10 nails and then it'll be time for the top coat Okay, my daughter has now, we filed all the nails, we buffed all the nails, she's washed her hands to get rid of all the dust and now we're going in with Wow Bow's Top Coat. God, I use a lot of different products, don't I? Um, it's just because I like a bit of everything. I'm greedy. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, we're going in with Wow Bow's um, Diamond Shine, I think it is, Top Coat. I think it's time and shine um yeah so it's a no white top coat anyway so we're going to go over all of these nails and then she's going to cure them in the lamp for 60 seconds um we wasn't sure if we wanted matte nails she did like the idea of matte but when she saw them with the shiny on um yeah we went for shiny in the end and i've got to say i'm i'm really pleased i do love matte nails but i don't know shiny when you have shiny on it just makes them look finished and i love it so yeah we went with a shiny and she's happy with them she was pleased um yeah so that will be this set done after this guys i hope you have enjoyed the video i know it's been a long time since i have posted one um i hope everybody is safe and well and coping with all the madness that is going on in the world right now um but yeah it won't be so long before i do another one i hope um no it won't be so long before i do another one i will try and put out some more videos i know i say this all the time but 
I will try and be better. But as I said, my hands have been hurting a lot recently. I've been really struggling. So holding the file and stuff has been quite difficult. I haven't even done my own. Well, I have done my own nails. I did them only the other day, though. Um, but I've not had no nails on myself for so long, which has been so sad. Um, yeah. But as I said, I hope you are all well. I'm rambling on a little bit now. So I'm going to shut up. I'll let you watch this and I'll come and end the video in a second. Okay, now I'm back from rambling. I've gone in with um, this cuticle oil in watermelon. Um, I'm going to go over all of her nails. And around all her cuticles, just massage that in. And yeah, that will then be this set finished. Please, please go and check out my daughter's Instagram. It's makeup underscore by underscore else over on instagram she does have a tiktok as well i'll leave the link in the description box below and yeah please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't already and i will see you in the next one bye